Okay, in this video, I'm going to give you the instructions for kind of a little practice exercise, um, a complete the phrase program. Um, I'll, I'll demo the program for you, and I want you to try to build it on your own, but in the next video, I'm going to give you a solution to it. So try to build it on your own. If you can do it, great. Um, watch the solution. Maybe just to compare your answers, like go to the end and see, make sure it's the same. But if you struggle with the practice exercise, um, first of all, come ask me for help, and I can help you. Or you can watch the, the video, the practice solution, and, and get a hint of how it's done. Okay, so anyway, complete the phrase. It's just going to be practicing click events. So we're going to make a new project called complete the phrase. The buttons below contain the beginning of a common phrase or saying. Try to complete each phrase and then click the button to check your answer. So a blessing in, so you want to think of what would it be? It would be a blessing in disguise. And you can click the button to check your answer. Disguise is correct. Awesome. A dime, uh, that's a dime a dozen. A dime a dozen. Better late than never. Perfect. No pain, no gain. There you go. Time flies when you're having fun. I know these all because I made them. Um, you don't have to do these ones. I shared a link to this website, English Idioms. There's so much. I've got a bunch of them from here. Right? So you can search here for all these common sayings and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so the idea is each button should have its own ID. You're going to do that document or get owned by ID to identify the button, right? To get the button, add an event listener to it. And then each button also needs its own function, right? That event function. So that when you click this button, it'll run the code. Now the functions are really easy. They're just going to have an alert command in it, right? They just have one line of code. But each button has its own function that alerts a different word or a different phrase. Okay? All right. Good luck with that. Um, remember to use your JS template to start a new project. And I hope it goes well. And if it doesn't go well, we'll see you in the next video where I do the solution. Okay, take care.